Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey amazing hackers, Hack to do here from HM Cyber Academy, hope you're doing good. So in the previous lab we have solved the first lab that is CLTE and now let us go with the TCL which is the transfer encoding and content length. I mean the first uh, front end server is going to accept the transfer encoding and the second uh, back end server which is going to accept the content length. Okay. So here there are some restrictions. Let us uh, learn those things while we are in lab only. Okay. This lab involves a front end and back end server and back end server does not support chunked encoding. That means it supports the content length. The front end server rejects requests that aren't using the get or post method. We already know this to solve the lab smuggle a request to back end server so that next request processed by the backend server APS to use the method gpost okay so there is nothing called gpost gpost is not a not a method so as usual we have to craft a payload uh, as if this gpost is going to be a method in, in the same way we will we are going to get this is not a proper method as a message in the response okay so anyway we have some note here although the lab supports okay we know this thing and there is some tip okay this is fine but we are going with a manual approach uh, let me open the lab in a new tab all right we have the lab here so for a http request smuggling what all we need is we need a request so this is that particular request take this to the repeater uh, so the previous uh, requests, uh, I mean the previous lab requests uh, are here itself so so that we can compare those things. That's it. Okay. So anyway, uh, this HTTP is set to 1.1 already. Okay. Let us put it. Let's do mistakes and learn from them. Okay. So let me hit on send just like that. So our first uh, thing is to change the request method so that we can put some body. So we have changed it to get from get to post so that we can put some body here all right so here we have the content length so let us put the transfer encoding also here transfer encoding and uh, the value is chunked okay and hit enter again hit enter basically now we have to give the chunk of data okay so here we have to specify the length of the data okay so let us consider something like 12 as of now okay we will change this okay and going forward what i am doing i am creating a new request here a smuggled request which contains a method called gpost okay so gpost is a method and as usual after a method see like uh, whatever we have here just like this so we are we are putting it like that okay so slash 1.1 hit enter and you can put host as usual just like this or even if you don't want to put it is also fine hit enter again and you can consider this content type okay so let me put this here yeah content type is here and let us also put the content length content len gth okay so content length we have and let us give something a random number like 18 or 19 or something like that hit enter and uh, let us give a value what what shall we put okay hm cyber academy all right so i have given it like this a right hm cyber academy and let us increase this value to 25 all right great then and the thing is like we need to terminate this i mean this is a chunk of data so once we have given the data we need to terminate this so again hit enter and put a zero here all right so we have two additional lines here so let me remove those and what else that's it so now the actual task comes in okay so what is the actual task is that we need to specify the content length here okay so when we hit on send like this 
so this is telling an invalid request okay so the reason is here the update uh, content length is zero let us turn it on and hit on send and again still it says invalid request and here it says content length is this much so the point is like we need to provide an enter here okay so which is going to consider as a crlf okay so this is something like a slash r and slash n so which is telling that till here this is completed and the next coming one is going to be something different okay that's what it is going to tell and let me hit on send again and again we got the invalid request so this time again we need to check with the content i mean here we said transfer encoding but we haven't specified the proper content length i mean the length within the hexadecimals so let us copy the whole thing starting from here and now our task is to count the number of characters here and convert the number into hexadecimal and put that number here okay so let me copy this copy and to count this i am using this visual code because we will get the column here so that we can directly consider it so let me take this like this space and remove this once again and space and this one also backspace and a space uh, i mean the reason why i'm giving a space is we are considering it as a uh, enter okay and here uh, we are okay we are doing it twice twice backspace so twice space and a zero once and one space and there is an enter after that so we are going to remove that and also provide an enter here so if you can see we have 167 columns okay so that means the word count here is 167 now let us go back to this decoder and place the 167 here and this we need to encode it as hexa so if you can see in hexa it is a7 okay go back to the repeater and place a7 okay so we have placed the a7 so now let us come to the actual concept so the actual actual concept is the front end server is considering the tl and back end server is considering the c sorry front end server is te and back end server is cl so now what are we doing here is that uh, so the firstly let us consider the front end server so uh, let us imagine that this particular request is going through the front end server okay so it says chunked and we have given a proper number here uh, of the count here and what we are doing we are sending this so this will be properly passed from the front end server and when it goes to the back end server here if you can see the content length so back end server is co will consider the content length here and the content length is 177 so that means the whole this thing is considered okay so the complete complete thing is considered here and go back here so now if you can see 167 and this content length is 177 the reason is we have this one and a few things that are to be considered so we haven't considered this as a length within transfer encoding header to specify the length of this so now the point is as the backend server is considering the content length so the backend server has to consider till here okay till here and the rest of the thing should be next uh, request okay it's a malicious request that it has to be considered so now what are we going to do for that so in order to find exactly put that content length here we will consider from here okay we need to count uh, till the g post one two three four okay so we have four here so let us put the content length as 4 and make sure you turn off this update content length so that it won't get updated even after you putting this 4 okay so now let us hit on send all right so what we have here is an invalid request here we forgot one thing so the thing is like we need to terminate this twice not once so terminating is by of course 
we have given zero to terminate the changed data but after that we need to terminate it twice one is to tell that a chunk is completed uh, till here and the other one is to tell that there is nothing left uh, in this particular request and this is the end of this request okay so we have terminated it twice but now let us go back to this place and here we need to give it give the paste twice to count it so it is 168 okay so previously it was 167 now it is 168 go to the decoder and put the 168 here and you can see it is a8 and go to the repeater and now change it to 8 okay and yeah i think we are good to go just hit on send and again send the request and now if you can see it says gpost so this means the, the server has the backend server has considered this G post from this as a new HTTP request and that's how we are able to smuggle this request okay so this is as simple as that let us come to a conclusion and understand what exactly it is happening so the front end server is considering the transfer encoding header so that our payload should not miss from the front end server and our payload will be considered as a data or a body okay so this is our payload okay so now comes the backend server so when this is uh, this request is sent to the backend server so backend server is considering the content length okay so here the content length is 4 that means it will consider only till here then what about the rest of the things so the rest of the body of this request will be added upon the coming request it is like let me copy whole the whole thing here and uh, control a Control V and again hit enter and control V. So this is how the server is going to consider. So this will be the first request. I mean, I'm speaking about the backend one. So this will be the first request. Sorry, till here. This will be the first request and this will be considered as a second request. And I know here till we have a successful request, but in order to confuse backend server, we are sending one more request. So this is going to create a confusion and from here it will identify. I mean, it is going to consider that this G post is going to be the start of the next request. That's how it is considering this G post as a HTTP method. So in the same way, we can also change this to any anything, anything, but here the point is to solve the lab it is uh, asking us to only display this uh, g post as a invalid method okay anyway congratulations we have solved the lab and yeah just let me know if you have any other doubt apart from i mean if you did not understand anything what i have explained here you can leave a comment down so that uh, i'll try to address those comments and questions thank you and have a great day bye bye